Hi everyone, this is Khalif here from Yes Hello. I'm the CEO and founder. As promised, this is the three steps to responsive customer service. Why is this important, right? So this topic is very important because I've been doing this for uh, seven years. We've been working with SMEs and helping them um, automate their customer service, doing messaging. Um, on top of that, I've been building startups and uh, businesses since I was 26, about 16 years ago. And the consistent thing that I've seen clients do every time, the same mistakes. I want to talk about what it really takes to build a responsive customer service department. So we're talking about, you know, what are the three biggest mistakes that stop SMEs, that stop small businesses from building a customer service team that is fast, urgent, responsive, uh, and is a pleasant to chat with, right? So I want to give you also workable, practical plan so that, you know, we can help you get there faster. So get a pen and paper so that you're ready to take notes. You ready? Let's go. All right, so let's take a look at over here. This is the goal. So we want a responsive customer service team, okay? Um, and I'm just going to break it down for you. So if our goal is to have a responsive customer service team, these are the three biggest challenges that they have, okay? So number one is that we have wrong tools, okay? So wrong tools where you have your team mix business and their personal chat. And the second biggest challenge is that they have no motivation, no reason to want to reply urgently, right? It's a big problem. And the third biggest problem is having poor internal support um, or either no support, okay? So you, uh, a lot of businesses just just give them the phone and go ahead and answer, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to solve these three uh, issues. What I am going to give you is I'm going to break down each one of these uh, problems and then I'm going to give you the solutions to each one of these so that by the end of it, you will have a clear plan on how to implement and solve these challenges in the company. Okay, so nice clear plan, nice um, clear strategies so that you can solve these issues specifically inside your company's uh, customer service department. All right, so let's get into it. The first one is wrong tools or mixing business and personal chat. So how are we going to uh, solve this, right? But before that, let's take a look at uh, what happens when you do have these wrong tools. Number one, if you have the wrong tools, then efficiency is low. People have to hack, they have to find weird ways to answer. That's number one. Number two is that they, your team now has to mix business and pleasure. Business and pleasure. Business and personal phone number, right? So 24 seven, they have to support. The, the weekends they have to support, they get very stressed and you know full of anxiety. Number three is they will feel demotivated. They don't see a way out and demotivated customers will give a very low quality um, kind of experience to your clients, right? So that is quite obvious. But what if you did solve it? So what, what is the solution to this? So the solution to this is this. Is to have the right tools and uh, so that you you can have a dedicated customer service platform. Okay, so this is how we are going to help solve it for you. So what happens if we get to solve this? What happens if you do have the right tools for the for the job? Number one, your customer service team will be more efficient because all the information, all the things that they need, all the customer names. It's all right there in one place. So if you want to refer to their email, refer to their details, uh, you want to take a look at their past information, you want to do reminders. So with the right tool, there's so many things that can happen, which will increase your team's response rate, be faster and more efficient. Number two is now you can separate the business and your their personal chat. So no more the customer service team have to 24-7 answer um, you know, inquiries, even the weekends uh, needing to answer. So no need all that. They can leave, you know, uh, the separate, their personal and business. They can go home at what, six o'clock and they can recharge. Um, this is where you can do a lot of other ex exciting things. And finally, 
because they get to recharge, because they get to come back, uh, it's clear, you know, the boundaries between work and personal, they are more motivated, right? As opposed to being demotivated and stressed, they come to work Monday until Friday or Saturday or whatever it is, they are happy to answer uh, inqu- inquiries, you get this positive and very light kind of mood in your department, right? So that's huge. And how do we do that? We do that in three ways. So I'm going to break it down to you. Number one is we're going to help you connect all your social media channels. So imagine this, not just WhatsApp, right? So we're talking about responsive customer service team, but to be responsive in WhatsApp, you'll have to have information with email, Telegram, SMS, um, what else? WeChat, so uh, Instagram, right? Uh, Facebook. So all these channels now will all funnel into one information, right? So one history for your clients. So um, not only you're chatting with them on WhatsApp, you have all this information where you can refer back. Oh, but you know, your password is here in email. You don't have to go and open emails. It's just all right there. So number one is connect all social media channels. And now you have one source of truth. Number two is your team can now respond from one place. There's no more uh, opening so many apps, opening so many uh, softwares to answer is all one place. Training becomes easier. Um, it's uh, so much simpler for you to monitor and all those things. Okay, finally is um, now that you have one source of uh, um, truth, right? Where you can check your customer service punya inquiries. Next is to have to set core values, right? How to sort, uh, set core values so that your whole team is now aligned. You will realize once you have number one and number two installed and done, it's so much easier to employ and recruit new team members. You can now scale from one person to two to three, even 10 and 20, right? But to have that happen, you'll need to have core values so that when they come in, not just they know what to do, not just it's simple to do, but also they can make decisions based on the, those values, right? So these are the three things will solve uh, your problem of having wrong tools. Now you have the right tools and a dedicated customer service platform where your team can now um, manage the day-to-day. Since now we've already solved this issue, we've already have you know all social media connected into one channel, uh, therefore it's easier to see the context. Um, you have one place where everybody works and then everyone is aligned. Next, we want to solve is, we want to solve this issue of your team or uh, team members not having this motivation to answer fast, to, to be urgent, right? So this sense of urgency, how do we do it, okay? So what we want is instead, instead of no, no motivation and team replies with no urgency, we want a motivated team that replies to your customers with urgency. So let's take a look at what happens when uh, you, you know, your team replies slow. So what happens is that your clients who now expect that they get response fast are frustrated. They feel like, oh man, that company uh, last time is very fast. This company now is super slow. Might as well I just go back to the old company. Or, you know what, I don't like this, this waiting and feeling like I'm not uh, valued by this this uh, company, I, I'll go and search for another one that uh, is more urgent. Okay, so now you create a lot of frustrated clients. So all these frustrated clients will now create uh, other problems. They don't refer, they don't purchase other new, new things, they complain more, they request more support from you even if they buy from you, right? So there's all sort of problems that happens because they don't sense this urgency from your from your company. But if they feel this urgency from you, if they feel that your team is super fast and super urgent and responds to them, the opposite happens. Think about this. They will feel valued. They And because they feel valued, they will refer more people. And because they refer more people, they, um, you know, they, re- they require less support. Uh, they buy more from you. And, you know, they come back year after year, day after day, right? So repeat purchases are uh, more. So think about just solving this urgency issue, uh, um, this motivation issue, getting them to be internally and self-motivated to want to reply urgently. And how do we do that? So we do that in three ways. Number one 
is we want to help them with this method called inbox zero. If we don't have a way to track how many incoming uh, messages that, that our clients are sending, who is, who is pending, who I've answered, who I've not, then we'll miss uh, some of these messages and people will get frustrated, right? So our inbox zero method with the software will gamify their day-to-day -day because they want to reach inbox zero, right? Number two is reporting and tracking. So this is huge. If you're using your normal WhatsApp on your phone, there's no way for anyone to track anything unless we do it manually and take hours and hours every day to do it, right? But um, we'll show you a way to do it automatically, have a consistent reporting, consistent tracking. And there is this saying, you know, what you focus on expands, right? So track and measure and what you focus on will expand. So you focus on the uh, how fast they respond. This reporting will show how many, will show what time, will show all these statistics and this reporting will keep your team motivated because they don't want to be the source or the main reason why the entire team's KPI or metrics is lower. Okay? So mentioning KPI and metrics, now your team can have goals and metrics. You can measure things and improve as we go along. And finally, we help with monitoring. So what's the difference between reporting and monitoring? So reporting is after the fact, right? So you've done it for the week, and then you get the report for the week and then you see what happened in the past. Monitoring is happening right now, live. So we will show you in this, um, the, the monitoring module is how to take a look at what your team is doing, right? Are they at work? What time do they come in? And uh, what are they typing? Who are they talking to? Uh, do, uh, do they have like five, 10? How many people inside their inbox? Uh, are they overworked? Are they underworked? So you can monitor right in the moment. You can even also either take over what they're saying or do live coaching with them. So this, this uh, monitoring part is one of the biggest ways, the easiest ways um, to increase motivation because they get the kind of, they get this sense of, of okay, you know, when somebody is around, uh, I want to be the best of myself, you know, this pressure to perform, right? So naturally with these three things, they will have this, tendency, motivation to want to uh, not let the team down, not let their, their uh, bosses and supervisors down, and they don't want to let themselves down, right? So this, these are ways that we gamify um, your customers to the team so that they're motivated and reply with urgency, okay? So moving on to the third one is the third biggest problem for SMEs, why they don't have responsive customer service team is poor internal support. Yes, um, you know, it's hard for your, your team to find answers. And why is it hard? Well, because now they're working from home, no more from the office, not so much. They, um, you know, previously they can ask their team members on the next cubicle, hey, how do I answer this question and things like that, even though they're using their own personal phone, right? But what if, now they're working from home, they cannot just ask. So just the fact that it's hard to get information, hard to ask for support, will slow down the process of answering, right? So they don't become responsive, they, they become very slow. So how do we solve this? So what we do want is we want strong internal support, right? So, um, not just support from supervisors, but support from uh, team members and just access to the info that they need. So how do we do this? We do this in three ways. First, our platform shortcuts. So this is where they can self-serve, serve themselves. They create their own specific shortcuts or the team who is a senior will already have a list of shortcuts. And this list of shortcuts um, can be shared to the whole team. So how great is that, right? So everybody um, will be responsible for their own shortcuts and they can share it. Now you have this, sort of team collaboration. Number two is a knowledge base, right? So from those shortcuts, you pick the best ones and you create a knowledge base, a base where all this knowledge from your team is put into one place where it's easier for everybody to find. Because shortcuts sometimes 
uh, is not enough. Uh, knowledge base, your um, you know your entire company can go and update, and this is a source not just for yourself but uh, for your team and for your customers to go and refer to. Right? We'll show you how to do a knowledge base. And number three is collaborative WhatsApp. So now I will, this is one of the main uh, features uh, connected to monitoring. Right? So. Is the next level of monitoring, not just monitoring and looking. Now we are uh, getting involved. This is where coaching comes in. This is where you know you um, you, you you go in and uh, they ask questions and then you answer within the actual conversation with the client. But the client don't see anything. It is as if you are sitting beside your um, uh, sitting beside your staff. And then them answering and then you giving coaching it's similar to that how do we do it in a way where we are not in the same room right so if we can do that then this strong internal support this sense of you know i'm not afraid to to do something wrong because i don't know where to find the answer is gone right so what happens is they are more confident your team is more motivated because they feel that wow, even though I don't know how to do it, I can find out. I can find out shortcuts. I can search over here, and I can ask my team members. I can ask my boss. I can ask my CEO if I want to as well, right? So you don't have to, but you can set it up. So is this? Um, it's just the the possibility of being able to do it will increase um, this this sense of support. And we'll get people motivated and we'll get them to answer urgently and fast and to have a responsive customer service team. Now, today, why we are here is we want to get you from having an unresponsive customer service team to having a responsive customer service team, right? So from unresponsive, so let's say you're here, right? You're currently um, not satisfied, unresponsive team, right? So you want to get here. So you want to be, uh, to have a responsive customer service team. And that's what today is about. To solve these three biggest problems and um, how do we solve it is with these three solutions over here. Okay, so just let me be transparent with you why we're doing this. Why am I teaching you guys this? Why am I showing you all this, right? The, there are several reasons. Um, two reasons actually, one is selfish and one is uh, not selfish. So today is to get you from unresponsive to responsive. But I have bigger, bigger vision for you guys. So I have a bigger vision on where I want to get you guys to. This is what it looks like. So where I want to get you is, yes, the first step is from here to here. This will take 30 days, right? To have a responsive customer service team to solve these three issues. But it, the bigger picture is this. Okay, so if you see the responsive customer service team, this is the first of three steps. First of three stages for a company to get to the top. And what, what are we getting to? We want to get to a predictably great customer service. That's what we want, okay? So by going through these three steps, at the end is predictably great customer service. Customer service, I will put that one there, right there. So this is our main goal. We want to get you to have predictably great customer service using your WhatsApp. And how do we do that, right? So we do it like this. First, you solve the responsive customer service the problem, right? Now you have it. Second is messages that you send out to those customer service, even that you're fast, we want them to be engaging. So engaging is the second one. And the third one is now that people are already engaging with you, messages are converting, we will teach you how to have a more systematic customer service. This is where you will do automation, you'll do the chatbots and the answer, um, you know, how to build this whole system. Even if you're not there, it will run as uh, how you've set it up, okay? So the predictably, uh, pre predictable customer service is our main goal for you at the end. Um, and my hope and uh, my, I'm quite confident that once you've gone through our responsive customer service team program right here, 30 days, um, you'll see the, a huge difference and then we will get you to the next few stages. So within the year, this is a one year program, um, 
uh, with our team, we will guide you step by step, uh, and you'll have, you know, the result will be a predictable customer service team that you can be proud of. Okay, so that's it from me. My name is Kale from Yes Hello. This is, um, I'm going to end this session here. I hope this helps. So, uh, my invitation to you is to uh, go in and uh, speak to your team, plan how you can solve these three problem, uh, problems. If you need our support on this, please uh, comment below, responsive, and I'll send you the information, and, uh, you know, the pricing, the program, what we're going to do inside there, all the information that you need to make a decision uh, on whether you want to jump on board, um, you know, join us. Uh, on our next program is going to start very very soon so we're going to do it together uh, within 30 days we're going to install this specific model into your customer service department if you're interested i hope to see you guys uh, in the program i'll see you in the next video bye bye